I found love in you. And I've learned to love me too. Never have I felt that I could be all that you see. It's like our hearts have intertwined. I want to talk about my babe, my bestie, and from today, my beautiful wife. I remember our first date very well. We'd gone out for dessert. People know Naomi has a sweet tooth. <laughs> and the day was going really well. She was smiling. She was looking amazing. She was laughing at all my jokes, even the rubbish ones. I was thinking, cool, this girl likes me. Anyway, end of the night, we're heading back to the car. She realized she'd lost one of her earrings, her favorite earrings. And then her smile changed. She wasn't smiling so much. The jokes and that were no funny, literally five minutes ago, nothing, no longer funny. Do. And I was thinking, oh my God, this isn't going very well. So I started looking frantically for Every these earrings. I walked up and down, up and down to the restaurant. I was looking for these earrings the everywhere, couldn't find away. them. And then you know what I was like, I'm just gonna get on my hands and knees and start looking at all the cars. And I did that, I was looking, and then I finally found stay. them. And her smile was back again. And the jokes were funny again. You know what, babe? Not all heroes wear capes. Some of, some of them wear Tom Ford. Thank Naomi for being an absolute superstar, uh, for putting such a beautiful day together. So over the last few weeks at work, people would say, oh, it must be so stressful putting together a wedding. How are you coping? And I was like, oh, it's not that stressful. It's actually kind of chilled. And I would say, okay, cool, cool, cool. What have you actually done to organize the wedding? And I would say, well, I organized my outfits and I think I did the drinks. And they would be like, ah, cool. Okay, it makes a lot of sense then why you're not stressed. So please give Naomi a big round of applause. She's been an absolute superhero. Naomi, as I take you to be my wife. I promise to love you. I promise to love you. To honour and respect you. To honour and respect you. I will stand by you. I will stand by you. And be true to you always. And be true to you always. And no other love. I will care for you. Will Laugh with you when you are happy. Laugh with you when you're happy. Comfort you when you are sad. Comfort you when you're sad. Whatever life may bring. Whatever life may bring. I will always love you. Just the two of us We can make it if we try Uh, you know, when we first met, Naomi would find it very strange that I would call some of my mom's friends, my dad's friends, mommy and daddy. She was like, that's weird, how many moms and dads do you have? But over the years, she's realized that these are people who have been in my life since I was a little boy, seen me grow. Um, so I want to say a big thank you to my mommies and daddies in the building as well. very, very proud father today. 
of Nomi, my daughter, and Israel, my son, all right? Now, I'll tell you what, I'm not joking, right? They are a, an amazing family, from the, um, from the sons to the dad to blessing. You know, I look around, right? Top, you know what I mean? As you go around the house, these guys are washing plates. They do everything. They, you know what? They're just like me, right? It's and you know, and I see a lot of me in them. And to have a family, and it's just an extension of yourself, is a, it's amazing. It's a blessing. What I'd like to say is, look at your grandmother. She's married for 50 years. I've been married 20 years. Just like, and that the the, the, the actual ingredient to that is love, commitment, you know what I mean? Praying together, being there for each other, you know what I mean? Just, just, just being the best friends, just be the best versions of yourselves, right, all the time, right? And I see that all the time, right? So just keep it up and, you know, I wish you all the best. Israel and Naomi, grace will locate you. I say grace will locate you. Anywhere you go, favor of God will be with you. We shall be well with you. I give you all an invitation in advance. As the Lord liveth, by the grace of the Most High God, by this time next year, we shall all gather here again to celebrate the naming ceremony Thank you. Of two boys. So shall it be. So at the count of three, please, ladies and gentlemen, to appreciate what God has done for me and the family. I would like you all to please join me and say thank you, Jesus. One, two, and three. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you all. Both look amazing. Dear Naomi and Israel, Naomi, I think that what you always had in mind has become reality today. You have found your prince charming, and from today you can call yourself his wife and feel like a true princess. When you were about 19, you had already experimented so much on makeup techniques and designing Mandy's that you decided to start your own import and export hair business with me even building prototypes for wig stands. You were so driven and enthusiastic that one day I was even headhunted personally after you volunteered to be my agent for modeling over 50s in a magazine called Saga. That was the shortest career I ever had. With Israel's financial background and insight, playing Monopoly changes Israel into a true property chaser. And even when he teams up, or especially when he teams up with Naomi, they get really bad, uh, sorry, fanatic. Last year, it came to a point that we nearly, Viv and I, had to sell our Dutch house. Thanks to landing on Go and our property on Mayfair and Park Lane, we could avoid a bankruptcy. So now you all understand why we live in the Netherlands. Yemi, you are the glue of the family. Your organization and amazing level of follow through is invaluable. You are the go-to person for all of us. And we know that if you're on the case, it will be sorted. 
Now, this is a testament to your character. It's a testament to your ability to, to galvanize people and to get them to do things that sometimes they wouldn't necessarily want to do, but you know you have a way to get the best out of people. And for that, we appreciate you and we cherish you a lot in the family. I will say, Naomi, that I know Israel and I know when he's worked hard and he's worked hard for you. I know that and I know he will look after you and parents of Naomi, I promise you, Naomi's in, she's in great hands. He will look after her, anything she needs, anything she wants, Israel has got her, 100%. So listen, God bless you both. I pray for many blessings and I pray for, pray for many, many children beyond your wildest dreams. I want five, I want six, I want seven, I want loads. And believe me, he's gonna work hard so he's gonna be able to afford it. God bless you both. Let's have fun today. Naomi, I give you this ring. As a symbol of our love. As a symbol of our love. And as a lasting reminder. And as a lasting reminder. Of the vows. Of the vows. We have made. We have made. Here today. Here today. So push that ring on. 